Welcome to this new Football Manager 2016 series where I will be managing England. Managed to find an old shirt, a very old shirt I must add because it's the only one I have. Buried amongst everything. Now before you guys say, Paul, stop. This is boring. Why England? Why? So many people have done it. Well, this series has a bit of a twist to it. It's going to be another short-term series. Probably only a season or two. Maybe it will go on a bit further depending on circumstances, but it's called the debut challenge for a reason. You look at the squad here, all the players in the squad have zero caps for England. I am not allowed to select any players that have even one cap for England on the game. So anyone with one cap or more is not considered for the team. So my aim is to win Euro 2016 with a team that's never played for England before the 5th of July 2015 when I started the save. Now, in real life, there's certain players that have made their debut since, like Deli Ali and Danny Ings. I'm allowed to select them on this game because on the game, quite simply, they are not capped. So, what do you think of the challenge? It's uh, an interesting one, I think. If you're looking forward to the series, please hit that like button. It'd be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, also subscribe. That would be nice. So, this is the team at the moment. I've selected 23 players. Obviously, you meant to have 25, but I've left a couple spaces open. And this may change completely. I will, be, I will be selecting players on merit. If they play well for their club in the Premier League, Championship, whatever team they're playing for, then I will add them to the team. We've still got four qualifiers to go, by the way, in the European Championship qualifying. On this game, England have won every single game, just like in real life. It is randomised when you start a new save. Uh, it can be completely different, but as it happens, England have won all six games on this save. So there's four qualifying games to go. There'll be some friendlies, and then I will be playing Euro 2016 and trying to win the Euros with a team that's never played for England before at this point. Obviously... As we go on, these players will get more caps, but it's from this starting point that I'm not allowed to se select players with caps. So in this episode one, I'm just going to do a couple of things. We're not going to play a match. That'll be episode two. But I'm just going to run down the team as it is at the moment. And I want you in the comment section below to, to stake a claim for a certain player that you like that should be considered in the England team. Now, from a personal perspective... Players like Mark Noble I've included. As a West Ham fan, I think he should have had a chance over the years. He was under-21 captain at one point. And I think he's going to be my main, my main midfielder on this game. He's going to be the captain. As you can see here, he's highly rated for England. He's actually considered to be a quality player for England. And he's better than other players in real life that have been capped or called up to the England team. Jack Colbuck is not capped on the game. He has been called up to the England team a couple of times. Hasn't been played, but it's actually considered worse than Mark Noble, interestingly enough. Anyway, I'll get off the Mark Noble case there. There's other players in here like Eric Dyer, who are quality on this game, and Danny Rose as a left-back who's never been capped for the full England team. There's quite a few left-backs, actually, that I could consider. I've got Danny Rose and Creswell in here, but there are other options available in all positions, in fact. I'm not sure who to play in goal as my main keeper. We're a bit weak on that level. At the moment, I've got Tom Heaton and Alex Smithies. You may want to suggest three keepers to me or one extra keeper that should be in the team. I'm sure there's a few different options, mainly championship level goalkeepers, I guess. So there's a lot of under-21 players in here that are currently in the England, England under-21s and a few players that have been overlooked over the years for England and are a bit older. Uh, so let me know some players you think deserve to be in this team. I'm sure there's players in the under-21s currently that could be in the England team as well. Will Hughes, for example, is injured at the moment, so I haven't been able to pick him into the, put him into the full team. But there's a few others. Joe Gomez. Um, you know, there's going to be players throughout this, this series that maybe will stake a claim to be in the main squad maybe even some under 19s players at some point we'll see lewis cook delhi alley's in the the england under 19s at the start of the save even though in real life he has been capped by england so i'm going to do a couple of things i'm going to decide the captain so let's decide let's have a look at the captaincy i've already decided a few set pieces and that sort of thing but captaincy wise the main guy it has to be mark noble for his leadership 18 lee catamol now you may think why have I picked Lee Catamull? Some some people won't like him, you know what he's like as a player, but he's a solid, really good physical defensive midfielder to have. And in the tactic that I'll be playing, which is very similar to my Arsenal one, 
if you've missed my Arsenal series, maybe go and check that out. Uh, but it will be a similar tactic to that. I may change it or develop it over the series. Anyway, let's pick Mark Noble as the captain. Where is he? There he is. So we're changing Wayne Rooney to Mark Noble. And second choice, Lee Catamol or Scott Dan. Now, Scott Dan is a really good centre-back on this, I must add. Uh, currently, I've got Scott Dan and James Tompkins, you see. There was my two main centre-backs. But that could all change. Tompkins may not end up playing first-team football for, uh, for West Ham this season. So he may not be the guy to, to partner Scott Dan at the back. Uh, but let's see. I think Scott Dan is probably the best centre-back that hasn't been capped for England on this game. And I'm actually going to make him vice-captain for that reason, over Lee Catamol. So these are the fixtures upcoming. I've already organised a few friendlies, by the way, but the last four European Championship qualifying games, we've got Slovenia in September. So there's a couple months until our first game. Then we've got Estonia, San Marino, and we finish with Lithuania. That should be four wins quite easily. Then we've got Germany in a friendly, which will be a great battle. Croatia is up next in November as well. And then moving into 2016, I've already organised a friendly against Wales, which I thought would be interesting just to, just to show live. And I suppose there'll be a few warm-up games ahead of the Euros, and then there'll be European qualifying. They've already got the World Cup groups decided there as well. I think an interesting element to this save could be, will, I, will there be any backlash over me not selecting the main guys? Wayne Rooney, Raheem Sterling, those sort of players, Gary Cahill, Joe Hart. What, what's the reaction of the country going to be? Will there be some sort of reaction on this game? Will it account for the fact that I've not selected these star men? Well, see, maybe I will get sacked simply for not playing them. But if I can, can, can actually get results with this team, then I don't see why I should be sacked. Anyway... That's pretty much the end of this episode. Let me know any players you think should be in this team. Hit that like button if you think this is a great idea. Maybe try it out yourself. It's called the debut challenge. I don't know if this is a thing, by the way. I've just created it in my head, but it might already be a, a challenge. I suppose there's challenges where you play with just the under-21s, but I thought this would be a bit different. It allows for players like Jack Court, Mark Noble, Catamol, Colbeck to be picked in the team. Got Ashley Westwood in there at the moment as well. This could all change, though, remember. Uh, as you can see, this is the squad. I've got quite a few striking options to choose from. There's a few that haven't been chosen here. Players like Jason Punchin, I can't pick because they've actually decided to play for another country, whether they will or not. Um, if not, then I definitely would like to pick him because he's a quality player to have. Anyway, thank you for watching this first episode. I hope you enjoy the series. Episode 2 will be out very soon. See you guys.